All right, Wibbiters. Now that you have your first Java program written, I'm going to have Brian explain to you what these lines are. And I just want to point out one thing, though, before we continue, is we did not do a simple Hello World program. Right. Which is redundant at this point. Right. Because we've done that. You guys know C++ or you've used C++. You have some sort of experience with that. So we don't have to go that basic with you guys. So in a nutshell, we're going to take some time in this video for Brian to talk about what we have here. So Brian, take the floor, my friend. Okay, so uh, the first line we see here that it automatically writes out is package tables. Now, if you'll notice, tables is the name of our project. Yes. So uh, this is sort of like a uh, kind of an include state. So, okay. so uh, the tables class is a package that we're going to be using in this program. Okay. So we can include other classes by like kind of like adding other, defining other packages that we're going to be using. Okay. So, uh, so now uh, it kind of like automatically fills out who the author is. And that is the person that you're currently logged in with with right. Linux. So right. whatever your current login name is, it will be that. We just happen to be Wibbit.net. Right. Okay, so the, <clears throat> the public class main is uh, is just kind of defining the main class of the program and setting it as public. And Public, member from classes, all users have access. Right, opposed to private. And uh, so now we're going to create a new instance of, of this the main class. Now we're going to run public static void main string args. So this is going to be how if you wanted to have optional arguments or variables passed into your program when you run it, this string is actually an array that it's like a string bracket bracket arguments. So if we wanted to have like different options for our program when we run it, like mm -hmm. uh, our program dash help or dash e for some option, uh, we would pass those in the string array, we'd look through the string array, and if the array includes this, then do that. Yeah, similar to like when you uh, install a package with RPM, you type RPM in the package name, that's an argument right. being sent to the RPM right. binary. Exactly. So this is kind of like a, a, just a standard thing that you do when you declare a main uh, function. And then the, uh, the system out print ln prints a single line followed by a return character. Right. And the difference between that and the print T is this just concatenates them all into one line. Right. And then that's why Brian put this here at the end. It's kind of almost like an end L. Right. Somewhat. So now that we have a better idea as to what we're looking at, we're going to uh, stop it here and then come back and then put together another program.